cat out the hat And I don't got a chick for a hoe just to chat Hey, I'm robbing the man who dress up like a bat Go get the paperwork if I'm a rat Bitch, hey, big boss nigga is BP for president My Hey, it's real f***ing simple with me Until Kamala Harris go to jail Until Kamala Harris become a convicted felon Until Kamala Harris five bankrupt six times her and her company until Kamala Harris is impeached twice until Kamala Harris is indicted four fucking times until Kamala Harris is found liable for sexual abuse until Kamala Harris is found guilty of fraud and got to pay 300 and some million dollars until Kamala Harris start a insurrection until Kamala Harris try to overthrow a election until Kamala Harris is married three fucking times until Kamala Harris have five kids from three different men until Kamala Harris do any of that She's a better candidate to me. How you do whatever you want to do with your vote. But I'm not voting for no rich white man to be able to do whatever the you want to do. I'm just not doing it. I don't hate women that much. And I damn sure don't hate a black woman that much. So you can vote for AK or you can vote for the KKK, you vote for whatever motherfucking K you want to vote for. That's your fucking business. But Trump been telling you since 2017, he gonna show you that motherfucking health care plan. Has he shown you yet? He been telling you since 2017, that motherfucking coming in two weeks. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be beautiful. Has he showed you yet? He told you he's gonna overturn motherfucking Obamacare. Did he do it yet? He told you Mexico was going to pay for that fuck-ass wall over there. Did they motherfucking pay for it yet? He told you he was going to raise the minimum wage. Did he do it yet? He was going to lower the fucking price on prescription drugs. Did he do it yet? But she need to explain something. Ah, she don't ever talk about her pocket. Yes, yeah, she can do. You just don't want to fucking hear. That lady told you she trying to get $25,000 trying to buy a home. Trying to build three more million homes trying to lower the drug prices for everybody not just the elderly trying to get tax cut to the middle that like trying to no tax on tips or whatever the hell it is that lady telling you what she trying to do you just don't want to fucking hear it is real quick <laughs> but to everybody who especially the ones who who, who, who look like me and the, the, the men who look like me who quit the Ah, she, yeah, she Kamala want my vote. She need to explain herself to me what she gonna do for the black people. Listen, stop asking the black woman to explain herself to you, or explain herself to y'all. If y'all ain't willing to ask a white man to can explain himself, y'all, y'all cool with the white man not explaining himself, his himself to you. Oh, the black, she need to explain herself to me what she gonna do for the black community. She want my vote. She need to explain herself. You ain't I asked the white man to explain this stuff. You too scared, I asked him. Somebody need to explain something to y'all. Well, she she been in the office already three and a half years. Why why she ain't do all the things she said she was gonna do? Cause she ain't the president. That's why. When you go to the Mike Dawn, that lady that's the manager, she don't get to do what the she wanna do. She might can give you some fries, but that's about it. Some free fries. That's about that's about all she. Do, but she can't change the price of that quarter pound up there. Oh, that big Mike. That ain't that lady White House. She just like man, you fall in line. Now, if you can get some free fries out every now and again, you get some free fries out. But y'all can know this, most of y'all, but y'all just want something to say. Now, if she was the if that if she was the president and do and didn't do something, then that's a whole different ball game. And the same who the, the black woman need to explain this. I, I, y'all the same but when, when when Barack was running, he wasn't black enough for you knew. And a lot of y'all, which I didn't figure out what y'all getting confused. Y'all don't even want fucking black. Y'all want ignorant. That was come on. You a lot of y'all think ignorant mean black. And that's why some of you like Trump, because he's ignorant. But I'm here to I can tell you, everybody black ain't ignorant. And everybody white ain't fucking smart. So put that in your fucking pipe and motherfucking smoke it. We are 72 days away from November 5th, right? Charlemagne the God, Jermaine Dupri. This is what you're doing. This is what I want you to do.
Let's chit chat. I promise you, I will never understand the addiction to being intentionally ignorant. Please, let's talk about what we know. On July 21st, Joe Biden dropped out of the race for president, meaning that Kamala Harris joined the presidential race with only 113 days until election day. Some of y'all don't understand how the three branches of government work, so please let me explain to you why her entering the race with only 113 days to win an election is really unheard of. During Donald Trump's 2016 run for presidency, he launched his campaign 513 days before election day. 2008, Obama launched his campaign 633 days before election day. The year 2000, George W. Bush launched his campaign 514 days before the election and Al Gore launched his campaign 501 days before the election. And in all of that, inside of those 113 days, the Harris Walls campaign has broken a myriad of records they are doing the work they are laying out their plan rallying behind this amazing campaign that is truly running against not just Donald Trump but project 2025 certain black men have decided to use their platforms to create divisiveness as Plies pointed out there is a huge difference between wanting to know your candidates strategy for the first 100 days in office what they are going to do for you and holding them to a standard that you don't hold politicians who are not of color. You have Charlemagne the guy. Now, did Plies lace his point with a bunch of MFers? Absolutely. Did he lay it out eloquently? Also, absolutely. So for Charlemagne the God's takeaway from Plies to be that Plies is telling black people to just take any candidate that's given to them and to settle is truly, well, willfully ignorant. Plies is, Plies is absolutely positively wrong. If people are asking questions, that's great. I don't even know why Plies is making this a black woman versus black man thing. This isn't about black men and black women. It's about elected officials and potential voters. The whole point of campaign season is for candidates to go out there and explain to the American people why they should be the one in charge of this country. Votes are earned, not given. And they are earned through you going out there and explaining yourself. Vice President Kamala Harris has to go out there and explain her agenda and why she's the person for the job. Former President Donald Trump has to go out there and explain his agenda and why he should be the person to get his job again, you know, or get the job again. I don't understand Plies or any black person for that matter telling black people to just settle. Just accept whatever the candidate is giving you. Don't ask any questions. Yeah, but just they've been vote. doing it. They've they don't have to explain long, long. anything to us. They've been doing no. it for a long time. Even with, with Biden, when, when we ask questions to Biden, well, it's the best of two evils. You know what I mean? We, you got to pick one. But no, if you have questions, people should be able to ask. Listen, that, that's the point of a politician, right? They're supposed to represent us, represent our district, represent our country. Shouldn't we ask? Forget. And, and by the way, they, they should be explaining without us asking. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of them doing these press conferences and these meetings. Yeah. The same way these politicians have meetings for their donors and they have rallies right. and press conferences explaining themselves and their agendas to certain groups, they should have to explain themselves to black people the same way. Plies is a billion percent wrong.